Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hey. So, Pet Legacy, a game by Mary Shard released yesterday, and we tried it out with the intro going something a bit like this. And I thought, you know, since we tried it out anyways, why not share with you the rundown of the experience of the game in a short video of a rundown of our experience with the game yesterday. So what is the game about, did you ask? It is what I would, and I'm sure many other would describe it as a crossover between Pokemon, Pikachu, ready? Pikachu! And up next is Pikachu! And Pet Simulator X. Come on. You got this, queen! The interface of the game, even the pets, the trading system, and even the gold machine that you unlock later on, which convert pets into golden pets, feels a lot like PSX. But you need to capture the pets and not actually hatch your pets from eggs. Capture them into these Pokeball-like things. We, we're gonna catch this bunny. Oh! There are then different areas of the map to unlock, similar again to Pets and X, and you also get basic, rare, epic, and legendary pets. Another thing similar to PSX is, for example, in the second map here, on the beach, my favorite map by the way, you can see that there's this legendary shark, which is super cute, that will spawn, but not always be here, just occasionally spawn, you know, that sort of thing. Bam. Bam. So, almost like an exclusive. Well, not really, because you also have exclusive pets that are on sale in the shop. And there's also the sea beast, which doesn't spawn so often either. So there are these rare pets that you can get, which occasionally spawn and can be super cute. But the rarer the pet is, the lower the chance of catching it, and the higher possibility that you would have to use a better Pokeball, which costs more currency. Yikes. So, in the course of the three hours we played, I unlocked a total of three areas. First area being the forest, which is the spawn area as you can say. Second being the beach area, which has this cute crab and scuba dog. And then the desert, which has this lizard looking like crocodile pet. And cute elephant that throws out water. Oh, and also this lion. Yeah. I wasn't able to make it to the next area after the desert because I didn't have sufficient money. It is fair to say that the further the map you unlock, the easier money making becomes. Having said that, I did find the game a tad bit grindy and there are still things that could be improved with movement and flow of the game. For instance, there are still some bugs that causes you to be unable to click on the pet that you would like to attack. <laughs> Oh, and there is a trading system that functions much similarly to Pet Sim X, where you can trade pets and in game currency and also convert your pets into golden pets through the gold machine. And there's also something comparable to Pet Sim X's hoverboard, which at the beginning of the launch of this game we were given for free, but I think the developers realized soon enough that that was a mistake and took it away, and for sure, now you got to pay Robux for it. Bruh. Overall, hmm, my personal opinion, I don't want to give a rating for the game as I know to each their own, but I would say that the game is a little bit too grindy for me on the basis that I have to also continue grinding on other games that I've been playing. That is to say that I'm not so sure how much time I'm able to dedicate to this game in the near future. Oh, and that I thought that the private server was a little bit expensive. It was 450 Robux to create one. I do think, however, the name of the concept i.e. the pet fights or the Pokemon sort of content and that combination of it with Pet Sim X is an awesome idea. So I do have mixed feelings about the journey of the game but I do think it's overall an awesome gaming concept. Oh and don't forget that you can verify your Twitter account after following the devs for an extra 20% coin boost in the game for life or input the account Elysian Bear. I mean I don't have a star code but there you go something like that seems to work. Twitter code. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's the overall rundown of my feelings so far. Let me know in the comments what you all think about the game. And yes, yes, Ali signing out for now. And see you soon. Bye-bye. A case. Bye. -bye. Bye.